What to do, YouTube. Um, I got a video here for you guys. It's just going to be my first impressions and first looks on Tweety 2, which just came out in the App Store a couple minutes ago. Um, it's available for $2.99, so for around $3. No, some people ask you can't upgrade from Tweety 1. You have to pay the extra $3. Kind of a hassle, but my opinion, which you're going to see with my first impressions so far, I think it's worth it. Um, but quickly, I want to give a quick shout out to iTouch, iTouch Stuff. His link will be in the video description. He wanted me to let you guys know that he is having a massive giveaway going on right now he's giving away an ipod nano and accessories so go ahead and check him out link over there and uh, without further ado guys let's go ahead and get straight into this <laughs> there it is tweety two uh, Tweety 2 being the predecessor to the Tweety 1 uh, application, which now it's going to be called Tweety 1. Um, right there, Tweety 2, just available in the App Store, like I said. Uh, this is going to be my first impressions because I just got it a couple minutes ago. Just going to walk you guys through a couple things of what I've seen so far. Um, I'll have a review, full-on review of it up uh, within a day or so. Uh, but this is just the first impressions. You guys can see that is the icon right there. So go ahead and open up this application. Like I said, um, the name of this app is Tweety2. It's available in the App Store for $2.99. So for just around $3 and just came out. Also, really quickly, I want to make sure, if not, make sure you guys are following me on Twitter. My Twitter name is iTouchiPod. Just go ahead and search that, twitter.com slash iTouchiPods. Um, you don't have a Twitter, make one. Um, it's an awesome thing. Um, and make sure you are following me. Okay, so Tweety 2, guys, just came out, like I said, and it is jam packed full of different settings, different customization settings, um, and all things like that. Let's go ahead and just start off with the main things. You can add as many accounts as you want that'll fit. Right now, I only have mine right there, iTouch iPods. Uh, you can add another one just by clicking this add symbol, which I found is very simple. Um, you can also, sorry about that, uh, you can edit it, you can just change those just like you could in the old one. Um, now in settings, this is probably one of the biggest improvements in this application, the settings part. Um, within these settings are many, many more new settings. Um, so right there, right off the bat, you get display name. You can have it set to your username or you can change it. Um, that's totally up to you. You can have the date format, you can have that relative, or you can go into it and you can change it to absolute. That's up to you on your, uh, when they show up on your Twitter thing. Uh, you can change the font size, which is new, which is really neat, from all the way from 13 all the way down to, as you guys see right there, down to 20. Um, so that'll determine the size of the font that shows up on your screen. Right now I have it set at 17. I might make it back down to 16, but you know, for right now I'm gonna stick with 17 because it's a pretty good font size. All right, next you can determine which image service when you post Twitter uh, Twitter pictures to Twitter, uh, you want them to go to. So go ahead and click on image service and you have all these different options to go ahead and set it to. Uh, Wifrog, TwitPic, TweetPhoto, MobyPicture, TwitGoo, uh, Posterious, uh, IMG.ly, or you can have it set to a custom one. Uh, that's really cool that you can set it to a custom one as well because for link shorteners, I customize mine to go to CutHut. Um, I chose TwitPic because that's just my personal preference. You can also choose your video service. You can either choose from TwitVid or YFrog. Very simple. Um, then you have the URL shortening. I have mine set to custom, but you can change it. You can have it go. Um, you can have it go to the bit.ly tinyurl uh, is.gd. L, I mean, I.PR, U.NU, Linky, or Custom. I have mine customed to CutHut.com. You guys may know about that site. Pretty cool. Okay, we'll go back into our settings. Go ahead and scroll down a little bit more. Uh, you then have the read later of the instant paper, which is a cool thing. How you can view tweets, um, even if you're not online with the new offline mode. Um, you can't really get any updates of tweets, but you can see what's already on there. Um, and then we'll go ahead into advanced settings. And in advanced settings, it's really cool. Uh, you have the quote syntax, so you want it to show up when you quote somebody, uh, which is a new thing that you can do, which is pretty neat. Um, go ahead and click on that. You can have it set to via user or just have it like that. Uh, you can have it auto-rotate, which is an awesome new thing. You guys are like, wait, auto-rotate in Twitter? Yeah, check this out. Landscape. Boom! This goes into landscape. Um, you can view, uh, yeah, your Twitter boards you can view in landscape. You can view your settings. You can view anything in this application in landscape. So that is really neat. We'll go ahead and scroll through these while it's in the landscape mode. Uh, you can have it set to auto-rotate always. 
or you can have it set to com uh, compose screen only or never. I like to have it on always. Well, so far. Uh, you can have enable text expander up to you. Sound effects, which I'll show you in a second. You can have those on or off. Uh, tweet blocker, just a little custom thing that they have there. Follow cost, favstar.fm. Fav uh, or tweetatories. I just choose to have all those on. Uh, you can have different API keys, and you can also install a Safari bookmark. Up to you. Um, just going through all the settings. I believe that's all the settings you go into about if you want. Um, nothing really special in here. Okay, now that I'm done with all the settings, let me show you what this app is all about. Twitter. <laughs> Obviously. So you go ahead into your name, and right away it'll show you everybody that you're following. And if you want to go ahead and update it, you can have it auto update, or you can, up. Oh, I went into Key's uh, tweet. You can go into here, and you can just scroll up. You'll hear that little quick sound, or I'll do it again. You hear that little quick sound, and it'll autom automatically update just by scrolling up. You can see right up there, really quickly, if you watch while I scroll up, it'll say pull down to refresh. We'll pull down. It'll refresh. Um, also, if you want, say I want to go into Key714's tweet. If you're in a tweet, you can just scroll up and you go to the next tweet up in the list. Same thing uh, with going down. Very simple. And also, um, let's see, we got, yeah, let's go ahead. <laughs> Funny tweet, BB. So let's go ahead. Say we clicked on somebody's tweet. We want to get to know a little bit more about that person. You go ahead and click on the arrow right over here, or just on the top section, and it'll bring you to their Twitter page very nicely. It'll give them a little short thing about them, their location. You can go straight to their website if you want. It'll also tell you in a new reformed fashion uh, how many people they are following, how many tweets they've sent out, how many favorite, favorited tweets they have, and how many followers they currently have. You can also choose to unfollow them if you want, just by simply clicking here, and then um, you can unfollow them up to you. You can unfollow uh, one account on more than one account at one time, which is pretty neat. Uh, you can also then just click this little button down here at the bottom, which will keep you in that user's account, and it'll show you all of their tweets. Go over to the next button, it will show you the at replies to that person. And you can also then view the little star, which is for the favorite. I don't believe anything is going to show up because he didn't have any. So we'll go ahead and go back to that person's account. You can now add the person to your contact list. Looks very neat. You can create new contact or add to an existing one or share it via email. Uh, once you're also in the little thing, if you want, you can go ahead and reply to them. Public reply or direct message. Up to you. So we'll go back to tweet. Go back to the timeline and we'll throw it back into portrait. So give it a second. All right, there we go. Pretty quick um, spinning times with the accelerometer. Um, now here on your main screen, go ahead and let's go ahead and refresh it. You have the refreshing right here. And at the top, you have here, if you want to search the timeline, you can very easily search the timeline uh, of whom you're following. If you also, you can send a tweet right up here, just like usual, by clicking that little icon. It will then bring up this new screen with a little new icon right down there. So say you want to say, let's, I'll say, Shooting a quick, I put two spaces so I'll put a period, but shooting a quick video of Tweety 2. Oh, Tweety 2. So very simply, you just go ahead and put in your tweet just like that. Say you want to add a picture, I'll go ahead and add a quick, uh, take a picture of this really quickly. Screenshot, top and bottom button. Uh, then you can go ahead and click on this right here, which will flip the keyboard over and give you options of um, the camera. If you want to add a picture straight from your camera, you want to go ahead and take one. Um, you can choose one from your photo library. You can add a geotag to see where you are. Um, you can add an at username, which I'll show you. And you can also add a hashtag. And if you have any links, you can um, just click shrink URLs. And with whatever um, URL shrinker that you chose, it will do it uh, with that. So let's go ahead and we'll go to photo library. And we'll go to save photos. And we'll go ahead and scroll down to the photo I just took. Let's say compressing really quickly. It'll do that. It'll then show you that you have one attachment in there. You can go ahead and click the attachment button. Zoom back out. And you have the image right there. Very cool. Um, you go ahead and click on it again. You can at reply somebody to your username. It'll click that. And then you can bring up anybody you want to at reply. So let's go ahead. Just example. I Justine. You type it in there. You type it in the full name. You can click it. It'll bring them up right there. It'll at reply them. You want to add a hashtag? You can add a hashtag to whatever you want. Let's go with I to tripods. I already had it there. Done. The hashtag's there. Um, if I had URLs, I could shrink them, but I'm not going to. Um, so I'll just go ahead and send that tweet really quickly. It is sent very quickly. You can go ahead and scroll up to auto update. <clears throat> and there you guys can see that it will update again. 
So go ahead and scroll up and see if, yep, mine's right there. Boom, my tweet is there. Okay, very cool. This may have turned out to be a review instead of the first impressions because it's a pretty long video. But you also have the your at replies right here. So that's pretty neat. Same thing, same dealio with the uh, scrolling and the updating. You then have your direct messages down at the bottom, which I will um, keep to myself instead of showing you guys, but it's that little button right there. You can also go to search, and you can search <clears throat> uh, people uh, nearby. You can also just regularly search anything. Um, you can check out your safe search and also show you the trending topics. Very cool. Tweety 2, nice trending. Um, you can also go to the more right here. Those three dots usually stand for more right down there. And here you can go to my profile, favorites, or go to user and look at drifts. I'm going to go to my profile. And the cool thing about it in my profile is you also see who you're following, how many tweets, how many followers you have, and stuff like that. You can go down to services, where in services, it'll show you the tweet blocker where you can use to block people, stuff like that. So it'll show you um, if you're, um, like, it gives you a little grade, which is pretty cool on how many people have blocked you or are you blocking people. Um, go back to services. Um, follow cost. This is, a, this is what I like right here. We'll go ahead and look at this. It tells you average tweets per day. Mine is 14.9. Recently, it's 16.89 at reply index and they have a little thing down there that says golden index number three percent so that's pretty neat that they have that right there that's a cool thing that they went ahead and threw in there so with this application guys there's a lot of customization unlike any other twitter application out there i believe um this is worth the three dollars there's a lot more things you can go through and look in this application um all the little services but this video i've been dragging it out for a little bit too long so i'm just going to go ahead and leave you guys here um at this video right here I'll go back to my account just like that I gotta add some more of my Twitter accounts to this but that's it guys uh, just a quick little rundown uh, 11 minute quick rundown of Tweety 2 you can also do that don't forget um, there I might have a shortened review of this um, of this application in the near future so make sure you stay tuned for that thanks for watching this 12 minute video and I will catch you guys later favorite comment rate subscribe peace